All right, you guys, so excuse the no makeup. I feel like I kind of started this as like a makeup channel and then like very quickly stopped wearing makeup. But it's just one of those days, okay? Um, every single day of pregnancy is different. And this is one of those days. So, but you know, I still wanted to put up a video on Tuesday. So, I still want to tell the story of how I found out I was pregnant. So, it, it's a doozy. It's, it's quite interesting. So, okay, so if you've watched a few of my videos, I think I was talking in like a get ready with me where I was or something. Um, like where I've been or something like that. I don't even know. I talked about how I went to the emergency room for bowel blockages. Now it's time to tell you the whole story. So <laughs> it was tied to that, like me finding out that I was pregnant. It's basically tied to that whole story. So that's very fun and interesting. So this all started on a very innocent, lovely day. Um, I was really, really sick. I woke up really sick. I was um, just really nauseous and kind of like throwing up. And I had a little bit of a fever, which is weird. And um, I just felt so shitty and I couldn't keep any food down. And I had been constipated for like one to two weeks at this point, um, which is really abnormal for me. Sorry if you don't like talking about poop and stuff, but for me, it's normal for me to go like two or three times a day. Um, so once a week for two weeks is like not okay. So Levi, thank you. So it was just getting like backed up and backed up and backed up and I was actually getting sick from it and um, that's what was giving me the fever was like literally my bowels were backing up into my stomach and making me sick. So Levi, go lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Every time I tell a freaking story, you get so jealous that I'm talking to something other than you. Levi, lay down. Thank you. Thank you. So I go, so I had to wait for my mom to get off of work so she could come pick me up because I was so like sick and like woozy, like I was seeing double basically. So I couldn't drive myself. So I had to wait like five more hours for my mom to get off of work so she could come pick me up and she took me to the urgent care like right in town. It's like two minutes from my house. Um, so she took me and she's like in the room with me because like she practically had to help me walk in there and they take my temperature and I had obviously I had like abdomen pain because I was like really constipated I was really bloated and I remember like all of my pain just being on one side and it turned out to be like that's just where it was blocked up like in one little like curve of my intestine on my le the left side of like my stomach area that's just where the block was so most of my pain was on that side so, um, yeah, so then, you know, if you're a girl and you go to urgent care or the emergency room and you say you have abdomen pain, they're pretty much always going to give you a pregnancy test because that's just what people do here. So, um, I get the pregnancy test done and the guy's like poking my stomach and like waiting for the test to be done. He's like poking at my stomach. He's listening to my stomach and my breathing and all that. And he's just talking to me about everything he's like I don't think your intestine is twisted blah 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 saying all this stuff and then the this nurse comes in and hands him the pregnancy test and he was like oh okay well meanwhile my mom's in the room by the way this guy was like oh okay well I don't know what you were thinking but you're pregnant so you got to go to the emergency room because this pain could be mean something really really bad for your pregnancy and you might need to go into surgery right now so go to the ER Okay, so I had no idea I would be pregnant at all, and my mom was there, and that's how I have to find out that, oh, surprise, you're pregnant, and you might need emergency surgery because of that, so see ya. Oh my gosh, like, <laughs> I don't blame, like, he's fine, you know, doctors a lot of the time are really dry, and they're like straight to the point, whatever, but it was just like such a ridiculous way to find out that I was pregnant and then I immediately freaked out because I've literally never had surgery before like I've had um some hospital stays like in the past I've been really sick and I've had like minimally invasive stuff but I've never had to be like 
knocked out. Like, I've never even had my wisdom teeth taken out. I've never had, like, major cut-me-open surgery like that. And it's scary. Like, it scared me, and it was sad to me that that would be... I literally remember saying to my mom, like, I don't want this to be the first time I have surgery. Like, this bad news to be the first time I have surgery because basically what he meant was that just because all of my pain was on one side that he was afraid that I had an egg topic pregnancy which means that the fertilized egg got stuck in the fallopian tube and is basically growing in there and what happens is that it basically keeps growing and growing and growing until your fallopian tube bursts and then you have like you know really really big problems because you're bleeding internally so basically they we thought that we were catching that early so they were gonna have to go in and take out my my fallopian tube and like that ovary and so then it like cuts your chances of being pregnant ever getting pregnant again in half because you only have one fallopian tube and if you don't know how the female organs sexual organs work um one there's two uteruses and two fallopian tubes and one releases an egg one month and one releases an egg the next month so if you take that away only every other month you're getting an egg release, so you, literally your chances of ever getting pregnant again are cut in half, and it's already hard enough to get pregnant for most people, so great. Hold on, let me let the cat out. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going nuts, and the hospital that we go to, I mentioned in my last vlog that I'm a military brat, so I go on to, you know, military bases to go to the hospital most of the time. Um, and the closest one is like 45 minutes away. So I'm like sitting in the car with my mom and we're both like, you're pregnant. I'm like, yeah, I'm pregnant. My mom's like, you're pregnant. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we were both just kind of taken aback. Like we know how it happened. My mom knows that Nathan and I have sex. Like she knew that already. We're adults, but it just was so random and the way that we found out was not very pleasant. So we were both just kind of like, shit, and you're in a lot of pain and you're pregnant. So shit. Awesome. Um, and then I called Nathan and he was still at work. And of course I was like pretty much keeping my shit together and until I had to call Nathan. So as soon as Nathan, I was totally fine until right when Nathan answered the phone, the waterworks came and I was like, Nathan, I don't want to tell you over the phone because it's like really intense, but I need you to meet me at the hospital. I just feel like I have to tell you in person. Like the worst person ever. I was like, just meet me at the hospital. I'll tell you there. Meanwhile, he's like two hours away at his location for work, has to drive all the way back and figure out how to get on base and find me at the emergency room. Yeah, so... But I didn't want to tell him over the phone, like, we had no idea that I would be pregnant, neither of us, like, we really didn't know. I think maybe he had a little bit of a feeling because I had been, you know, like, constipated and kind of sick, but I was just like, nah, like, whatever, I'll just, like, eat more fiber, like, I've just been eating way too much Taco Bell, like, you know, so, yeah, so I was like, oh, Jesus, that's just awful. So I'm waiting and waiting and waiting like you know emergency rooms aren't like instant I'm not actually like internally bleeding just yet so um I just had to like sit there and wait and like be in pain and I think I waited for maybe like an hour and a half or two hours um maybe it was even longer than that because like however long it took Nathan to get there and uh, that could have been like two to three hours and then like literally 15 minutes after he got there we finally got taken back. I don't know how into this y'all like really want me to get but basically it was like hours and hours and hours of people poking and prodding. I had to get two, not one, but two intrauterine uh, ultrasounds. Not very fun. Um, you know, getting fucking pried open with this, the duck thing. Oh my god, if you're a woman who's ever had like a pelvic exam, you know what the, that shit I'm talking about? Oh, it's literally, they put this like plastic thing that looks like a duck bill and then they crank it open. It's like, and crank you open. Oh my God. Ew. I hate it so much. Um, the, the whole works. I, you know, bunch of ultrasounds on the outside. I was so early in my pregnancy that they couldn't even find the egg. Like it was basically just like a little tiny minuscule cluster of cells. 
and we couldn't find it. So they were like, fuck, like we don't even know if your pain is because it's in the fallopian tube because we can't fucking find it, period. Um, so that's great. And that wasn't really solving my problem. And then they finally, 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 I went through an entire like intrauterine ultrasound and the ultrasound on the outside and all of that. And then they finally were like, okay, like we think we can give you morphine. And I was like, thank God. They fucking pumped me full of morphine. I, you know, a little bit later I got another intrauterine ultrasound by like a a professional I guess like somebody who does that all the time like not just an ER person like a ultrasound specialist then had to do one for me so like I had to wait for them to be available and they couldn't even find it like where the egg was or anything which was just super freaking fun and then finally old gal doped up on morphine with my mom and Nathan in the room I was like look Okay, the doctor came in, there's like two nurses in there. Also, the hospital that I go to is a teaching hospital. So, everything that happens, every question you get asked, it happens like two or three times because the doctor, like the head person asks you and then all of the students ask you. And there's always like minimum of four people in there because it's the head doctor and then whoever fucking students are in there like following him around that night learning, they're all in there. So. All those people, my mom and Nathan, me laying in a freaking bed, all crazy, doped up on morphine, and I'm like, okay, look, we've stuck things in my vagina, we've looked all in that general area, we can't find anything. I know my body, I'm telling y'all, I'm just constipated, okay? I poop two to three times a day, I haven't pooped in like a week and a half, so just fix the pooping problem, and we'll be good. Okay, <laughs> so I'm telling you this level of constipation, I was at like a blockage in my bowel. If anyone knows people who have gotten a colonoscopy, you know they have to drink a big ass gallon of that nasty lemonade stuff that literally cleans you out. And like when I, clean, when I say clean you out, like you drink it, 30 seconds later, the liquid's coming out uh, with no poop left at the end. Yeah, it cleans you out. Tell me why I drank a whole freaking thing of that and two hours later still hadn't pooped. That's how bad it was. So then, lucky me, they get to go in the other end with uh, enema, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's what, it called, what it's called. Put that in. Get all the, the juices that are in there. I don't even know what's in there. To go in and break stuff up. And... <sighs> Guess what didn't work? Then we had to get somebody to physically like go in there, break things up, and that's really interesting and fun. And um, yeah, I finally freaking took a big old dump and <laughs> like multiple, like a lot. Like I was pooping for like a day and a half and all I could eat was french fries. And then like four days later, I went to the hospital again for like a checkup thingy. And uh, they finally found the cluster yolk sac, I guess, or like the sac with like this little tiny, like two or three grains of sand of like white speckles. It was like the little cells that would eventually be a human. That's how early I was. I was like 10 days pregnant when then they couldn't fucking find anything. So that's how I found when I was pregnant. But the good news <laughs> is that we're both absolutely thrilled. That I'm pregnant and uh, we couldn't be happier to be honest so we're good to go it's super fun and I feel like I did not tell the story very dramatically it seemed really dramatic at the time and it took over like a long it took like 10 hours in the ER and I was in a lot of pain I was drugged up and lots of stuff was going in me but it didn't seem that dramatic when I was saying it but whatever now you know how I found out definitely wasn't the conventional way but that's okay. Um, we are just super excited and yeah, I'm so excited. I'm excited to vlog this experience. I'm excited to move. I'm excited to make a baby room. I'm excited to have a baby. I'm excited to make a baby. Oh my God. I'm creating a human. It's wild. So yeah, <laughs> maybe someday in like 40 years, I will convince Nathan to say something on camera and not be super awkward, but let's not get our hopes up. I'll be hitting y'all back soon with some makeup videos. Don't even trip. I have new eyeshadow palettes that I want to try. I have 
my lovely subscriber <clears throat> who requested that I do makeup looks based on the zodiac signs, which I'm definitely planning on doing. That's all in the works. So, yes. Yeah, so until then, I don't think I have anything else to say. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just have a good one. Bye.